Monday morning and I'm opening up now for James and his lads who will be putting up the new Dura ICF walls this morning. I've been down to check the slab behind me just now and all the extensive watering we did on that really hot day on Friday when it was laid and inspecting it this morning there's no cracks at all so that's really good. So this is a Nadura block, they're polystyrene um, with sort of plastic fittings that hold the central core together and these are stacked on top of each other a little bit like Lego and then they're filled with steel and then once they're filled with steel they then get filled with concrete and it hardens and then we move on to the next level. As James mentioned the first day is extremely critical to get the battening set out so we've got a good guide to put the Nidura to because with a 32 meter length if there were any deviations you'd see them straight away and uh, yeah we don't want that well it's the end of the second day um, and James and his team have been um, working really hard in this really really hot weather after about quarter past half past twelve it comes over the trees there it's pretty much right down on them so it uh, been that they're building within polystyrene which has got great u values 0.4 i think uh, and it cuts out the wind it means that they're in the tanning salon which is great if you are not working they're being meticulous and, and and getting everything straight and putting everything into position and checking everything twice three times before they cut so uh, it's not much fun when it's that warm so uh, yeah they're doing a really good job they've got the uh, gazebo set up over there which has got the plans Earlier on, we discussed the L starter bars, which are 1.5 meters by 1.5. Bottom half is obviously now suspended in this slab. Um, but in here is a pretty good view of the amount of steelwork that's going in here. And once this is filled with concrete, obviously this will be doing all of the retention and load bearing from the side and the back walls. So it'll act like a giant bookend. If it pushes against it, it will retain it because of the shape of the design. As you suspect, all of the concrete will be uh, vibrated down with pokers and uh, it should, in theory, go all the way to the bottom and then encapsulate the steel and the plastic webbing. And then when it goes off, it'll be one big homogenous load bearing and retaining wall. Day three of the Nadura build and uh, the window apertures are uh, taking shape. So we've got the vast majority of the wide ones behind me of the bedrooms. That one at the end is for plant room and the narrow ones are for um, bathrooms. It's going to be an upside down house as you probably already know and I've mentioned. So it's four double bedrooms all en suite downstairs with a plant room. And then upstairs we've got office, uh, lounge, kitchen diner and um, another toilet stroke shower room and um, a utility room. This is a view of the inside. Now these props here will also be on the long back wall behind me. Um, he'll be working his way around and that's to keep them upright when they start to get filled with concrete. As we saw the other day, the wooden batten on the internal side will be keeping that wall nice and straight. And then as he goes up, he'll be using the props on the left hand side of the shot all the way along this long wall to keep it all vertical so it stays nice and straight. This is going to be a downstairs corridor which links all the bedrooms to the stairway. And it's going to be dark because there is no natural sunlight. So we're going to have to be imaginative when we think of a lighting solution there. But the rest of this area, all the bedrooms will be separated by dense concrete block. For, for sound attenuation and to support the beam and block floor above it. Well, the sun's going down on another day and there's been really good progress made on the build. 
and we've got quite a lot of the Nijura blocks already stacked up and propped with the window openings cut. Where are we going today now? We're taking our tractor back. Yeah, I am. We're back to Hat. We're back to Hat to swap the old sign out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's endless. Glyn's taking his machine back after being on site for a couple of months, so we're going to miss him. So Glyn is an expert driver, as you can see, and we're taking a very, very big trailer back off the site. After five days, James is still continuing to make really good progress with the ICF build. Internally, all of the props are up, which will provide support for when the cement is poured in the top. And also, Phil from CM Hill has come in and stripped off the shuttering from around the slab so we can see the blue uh, tanking membrane. And that will extend all the way around the bottom of the building. All of the bedrooms will have a very similar view, uh, but this view is from the master bedroom and the intention is to have it feel like you're actually up in the canopy of the trees. And in front of the building here, this path is gonna be about two meters wide in the end and the rest um, where the boards and the steel and the sand is, is gonna be excavated away and spread around the site. <laughs> 